Welcome back, everybody, once again to Horrify. I am TJ the Obscure. With you, last episode, we explored Monochrome Mountain and found a number of secrets. Uh, this episode, we're going to continue exploring. Mainly, I'm going to try to get a hold of the treasure, and therefore, we're going to travel up to the top. The slime. It's raining slimes. Hallelujah, it's raining slimes. Um, But uh, <laughs> climb up to the top of the tower. Try to get a a good view of the island so that we can figure out where it is and then after that we'll go down and we'll do the you want to play a game thing that we found last episode and then time permitting we will head into polychrome mountain and start exploring that to see what we can find i did make a return trip to base simply to drop things off and organize my inventory a bit <clears throat> but yeah let's head up the hill and towards towards the castle think the bobber where is it did I already lose sight of it? Gosh dang it. Oh gosh, don't jump into the thing, guy. I should probably just go and take out the dang creeper spawners. Since they seem intent on spawning. I, oh gosh, I don't know you guys. I do see a chest though, so we're gonna. Oops, we're gonna head there, I suppose. Um. At least I don't think we've already gotten this chest. One thing that's throwing me off is I'm not sure if the clouds I'm seeing are clouds that are on the bottom or if they're clouds that are on the top. Um. Alright, and there must be gas bar around. Are you serious? Game? Really? Okay, just blocks. Blocks are always... Oh, I don't need the gravel, I don't think, at least. I guess I will take... Oh, I will take the ladders, though. That looks... Was that just a spawner that we took out? I imagine it was just a spawner that we took out, right? You must have a spawner nearby. Like, man. Man, oh man, oh man. That looks like it could be it. Maybe. Somewhere over here. Let's check it out. I suppose. Right, let's see what we can find. Okay, well that was a candidate for possible treasure place thing. It's fairly certain I just heard a skelly, but not seen anything. That's a chest we've already gotten apparently. Dude, why are my arrows going right through you, guy? Um... Like, I feel... It has to be in a place that's not covered by the clouds, right? You think... Is it over here? Dude, I've been seeing so many of these iron skellies around, like... Oh gosh. It's not even funny, there's so many of them. Gosh, I walked right by it, didn't I, you guys? I sure did. I sure did. Oh, okay. That is out of the way, fantastic. What do we got? Some golden apples. Ooh. Um... Let's see here. I mean, I'd rather have... Gosh, how do we still not have enough levels for that? Uh, what about this one? That's only going to cost 12. But the ideal thing would be to make this efficiency 3 and that efficiency 3 and eventually turn it into an efficiency 4 pick down the road. Let's just hold on to those things for now. 
and stick up all of this junk that we don't need. I don't even need the beet bowls anymore because I did not bring my mushrooms with me. All right, let's head to the thing that we found the last episode and see what this game is all about. Oh, we got a hidden chest with some basic stuff. I'll take the resistance. The jump boost might also be helpful. You know, some of these houses that I've been to where at, on first impression it seems like there's nothing there, I imagine there is something in each and every one of them. Dude, okay, I came out of another cave at one point. I don't know where it was, though. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, let's get down here. And you know what this makes me think of? I'm fairly certain that it's an allusion to the Saw franchise. Let's play a game. I think he says that. I'll be honest. I love horror films, especially. I, it could be gory. It could be cheesy. I don't care. I, I like. I, I like horror films. But I've never actually seen any of the Saw movies. Um, I've seen, of course, clips and portions of them and stuff. But I've never actually watched like a whole one, like all the way through. And I was just talking with my wife about this the other day, about how I would love to do that. Um, although she hates anything <laughs> like that. I can get her to watch like um, like suspense, like thriller type things, mysteries, but no no horror, no gore, none of that, none of that kind of stuff, which is rather, rather unfortunate. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I think that's what it's alluding to. But I can't help but think of the movie War Games which is an 80s flick with Matthew Broderick, very young Matthew Broderick. And there's a computer. It's this kind of the beginning of like computers and internet and AI and that kind of stuff. And um, there's like a, a war game simulation thing, but he gets into it and it can actually like be used to launch nuclear weapons. And anyways, the computer says, shall we play a game? And that's what I think of whenever, <laughs> whenever I see this, even though I'm fairly certain it's an allusion to Saw. Make sure there's no creeper holes. It's called The Floor is Explosives. That could have ended very poorly, I think. Um, okay, I wonder what the entrance over there is all about. It looks like we simply... Oh, that's going to be for the tripwire then. Ooh, okay, I hope there's no spawners. What would be really mean would be to have spawners hidden behind the triple wires so that the mobs spawn and then walk out here and they trigger the triple wires. That would be pretty freaking mean, I must say. Is there any way to protect from TNT blasts? I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to look that up now. I I know water can do something, right? Cuz I don't think uh will do very well to oh gosh okay to um oh survive we got to be careful about breaking things because we could accidentally trigger one gosh you know what this reminds me of is It was a, um, I think it was an advent map with a bunch of traps like this in it. Whoa. Okay, I see. It's basically a TNT maze. Um... Gosh, ender pearling would not work here, right? I'm not really sure where to begin, you guys. I'm fairly certain we need to go this way. But then there's tripwire right here. But maybe if we walk right along right there. Through those pillars. I think... Um, okay, let's uh try this out, shall we? 
There's like a top layer too. It's almost like we have to go up at some point. We're good. There's the trip wire. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is not the direction that we need to go. Oh, I thought for sure it was. Um. Huh. Is there like a texture pack that makes string more visible? <laughs> that would be um that would be very helpful right here, right? Where the heck am I supposed to go from here though? Is there a way up through this? So it doesn't look like it. What about <clears throat> through here? I see a string. Running right through there. Okay. Um, gosh, this is so tense, you guys. And making my way back might prove challenging as well, though I can always just ender pearl out. I think we're safe to do that. We're going to have to go through the pressure plates, it looks like. And from here, where do we want to go? Is this all safe? It looks like it, huh? Walk around. Gosh, this episode is basically going to be me going just through this maze, to be honest. I think we're okay. Going through here. Now where? Can't go that direction. I'm guessing we need to go through the two pillars right there. I don't see any trip wire that's going to mess us up, I don't think. What is that? I wonder if they'll spawn if you break the... Um, pressure plates or something? Also be on a timer, I suppose. I wonder if I could simply ender pearl right through there. As you can see the string right there, and the string right there. Um... Okay. Oh, I need to throw things, but I don't want to trigger anything. Oh, this is so intense, you guys. So very intense. 
I don't know, will iron pressure plates set off other iron pressure plates? Or can I just go right here? It looks like I can probably just go right around. Um, yeah, we good? We good? I think we're good. I'm so tempted, you guys. I also, I'm worried that that might be cheesing it a little bit. Uh... Okay, so we can go right here, I think. And we're gonna go up and over, basically. that work? Can't I disable them simply by, although that might actually trigger something else. Alright, well that's unfortunate. <clears throat> I probably should have just enterprolled straight to it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was mean. Blue shulker box. Was it just a troll the entire time? Don't tell me it was just a troll. Oh, man, I want to see... What else was in the... What else was in the chest? Hopefully it was something, at the very least. Man, I should have just blocked up, but I was thinking that that would be the better way, and yeah, oh well. It'd be nice to see somebody actually complete it. Although, again, I think I would have been able to easy, easily just ender pearl um, straight through it once I kind of reached the middle there. It looked like there was a clear shot. But, yeah. Whatever. Let's get out of here. And honestly, gosh, how long have, how long was I doing that? Oh man, yep, this is basically already gonna be an episode, I think. Uh Huh. In which case, you know what I think I wanna do right now is go ahead and head down here and we'll do the the record since we still need to do that and then next episode we will go ahead and return to polychrome mountain and take out the rest of it or explore the rest of it i guess i was wondering if there might be anything like in these little pillars here seems like a reasonable place to hide something And of course, we already have done this, but it should be more challenging this go around. And maybe we'll take a different path as well. Oh, there's that. And that. And that. I really need the levels, people. I'm not going to bother with that. We can simply use our torches. Stupid wither things. Go away. Be pretty please. And you. I imagine that there's probably a spawner. I was going to say up in the trees, but maybe it's over here then. Up top. Ah, there we go. And maybe even something up there as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like one secret in each room, basically. But maybe not. In the tree, perhaps? Under the tree? Nope. Okay. 
Yep, just go ahead and take all that extra damage, guy. I should probably switch to a better food source at this point. Unless you really want to sit and watch me eat all these cookies. Let's go with the spider path this time, since we did take the creeper path last time. Hey, you're supposed to go away. Um, interesting. It's like a little aqueduct type thing. Alright. Thank you for the bread. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike two. Oh, we hit the home run. Alright, uh, there's that. And that. Ooh, gosh, I was almost a spider sandwich right there. Well, I guess it would be a, T -day, a TJ sandwich with spider buns. Spider buns? Gosh dang it. Uh, Alright. Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Gosh dang it, place the blocks in the right place. Oh, I don't like that I can't jump. That's not fun. Um... Is there still another spawner around? Okay, whatever. Is it just the one? I guess so. We just have the one option. Why is there gray there? Oh, probably because I placed a water bucket. And so this stuff, which is actually concrete powder, decided to turn into concrete. Is my guess. You know what would be great is a creeper trap in one of these. Okay, well... It's basically leading us to the same place as far as I can tell. Uh, let's try to get some light around here. Use a cacti for cover. Eat some bread. And kill you. And you. And you. And more you. Uh, let's just destroy you. All right, easy enough, easy enough. I thought I saw some bread. No? No bread? Alright, back to more spider stuff. I really need to find out if there was something in that TNT trap, you guys. Like, I think I may load up a fresh copy of the map just to try to do it again and uh, right, let's light up the bottom first and I do want to check to see if there's anything potentially on top as well oh I want to see what was behind this blue thing too yeah that sounds good refresh the torches Where's Archer guy at? Right. Got it. Alright, let's head up. I just want to see if there's any like chests or anything like that up here. There is indeed a chest. With <laughs> More blocks. The one thing that we really don't need more of at this point. I would say, although I guess we can just exchange them. Like so. I thought all these spider spawners were going to be up here, not a chest. But I guess they're all down below. We have enough levels to combine... Uh and stuff although maybe we shouldn't do it right here well whatever whatever let's just go ahead and do it there we go am i going to be able to nope okay so that's it for that pick but that's okay efficiency three is good enough for me and let's now hey see what is behind door number 17 Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little cover. I don't want to... Uh, 
um, get trapped in here, so we're not going to use the torch trick. Uh, interesting. I thought for sure this was going to be drowned. But it's just more zombies. Uh, let's work our way around, make sure we take out any spawners that are up here on top first and foremost and then we will investigate down below um, I think I want to come over to this corner and let's um, hop down a little bit make sure there's no skellies around and get down so that we can actually make use of our sword here Let's get out here and see. I imagine that there are some spawners down below as well. That may be spawning guys, or maybe not. Yep, there we go. Alright, is there, there are no chests? No yummy secrets for us? Uh, I guess not. Let's um Oh gosh, you almost got me there, guy. And I guess you got me, but I'm still I'm still here, I'm still kicking. Was it ice creepers? Oh gosh. I don't think they can reach me. Let's see here. I want to get closer to them, but I don't want them to be able to get closer to me. Alright, and we do have another chest as well. Um, let's make sure there aren't like hidden creeper spawners there or anything. Yep, 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 yep. Just to clear up some room in our inventory here. I guess we don't need the treasure map anymore, do we? And just so we can take all those guys. Oh, is there an entrance into this thing? Is that what that is? Oh, I definitely have to see... Oh, it's filling up with water. It is definitely filling up with water. I, I want to see what's down kind of over with this little arch. It does appear to be an inside. It might just be creeper spawners. Um, could be something else, I suppose. All right, the water is is as bad for me as it is for them. If I had to guess, it's simply creepers. Maybe I should do a more thorough investigation. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I see anything. Um, just to be safe, once again, let's go up top here. I think I certainly took the longest route, yeah? Gosh, I don't remember any of this stuff, you guys. Oh man, this is bringing back some, some, uh, and you know what, memories of the fun stuff. Oh gosh, I don't know if packed ice breaks. Uh, let's do that. I guess we do need the blocks for something, right? Oh, you cheater, you. You're a big fat cheater guy. Uh, let's do that. And that. I, I love these kind of crisscross rooms and stuff. 
Oh man, this is bringing back memories of like legendary and all those kinds of maps. There's those blocks. Uh, get some light, maybe. Um, actually, no light. No light. I am curious. Is there anything down here? Looks to just be a bunch of spikes. By the way, the addition of the spikes is pretty cool, I must say. Reminds me a little bit of uh, one of the areas that I made, the haunted hallways, that had the little pitfall traps that you could fall down into. Although I think I used... or no, I used the evoker spikes, I think, to... Um, to do that effect in that area. Why are there so many new rooms all of a sudden, you guys? It's gonna end up being a long video, I think. I guess I could edit out the TNT stuff where I'm just kind of sitting around trying to figure out my, my path to take. In fact, especially considering I failed, I think that would probably make a lot of sense here. We're gonna go and eat an apple, I think. Um, simply because I feel like that's a good choice, yeah. Uh, let's do that. Is this spawning creepers up here? Oh gosh, okay. I'm not entirely sure where to go. Do I see a door anywhere? Do you guys see a door anywhere? Um... I don't think so. Did that creeper die? I think that creeper died. Let's get over there and see if we can take out the other spawner. There. Where did it go? Exactly. I know I just saw it, right? Alright, and you... I definitely hear stuff on the other side of this wall here. I kind of assumed that every route was going to end up going to the same place, but I guess it's truly a maze, and we have hit a dead end, it would appear. So that's fantastic. And I guess we're out of good usable blocks too. Now let's just put up some of that stuff. Alright, well let's um hop on over, I suppose. I'm just going through my bread like it's nothing. Okay, so we gotta make it. Um, let's do that, and that, and that, and that. Bridging is not always necessary. Let's make sure they can't attack us from the bottom here. Okay, we are just about out of torches. Let's craft a few more. That should be enough, I think, to get us through the rest. I'm hoping that we're close to the end here. We are indeed in the... super area, it seems. Is that... Oh my gosh, that is a pressure plate. That seems so very mean, you guys. So very mean. I guess let's go ahead and eat some food, yummy yummy food. Alright, we have made it to the final room. Let's go ahead and once again eat an apple. 
so that we can get in here and just start lighting things up. Well, it's trying to mitigate any poison from the spiders, of course. Look at skeletons fighting amongst themselves. Alright, did we get the other spider too? Nope, he is still alive. Alright, there's that. And where'd you go, guy? I think there was one more who was like right above us the entire time. Okay, we're good. We're good. We have Prequel's Duel. All right. Whew, okay. An interesting episode. I am so very sad about the TNT explosion, but I don't know if there was anything that great in it. Um, I'm sure you all let me know in the comments, though. I really wish I would have done the Ender Pearl throw. I had a lot of fun with this though. Gosh. It's kind of sad. I think this this record puzzle dungeon might be my favorite part of the map. Um I don't I don't know why. <laughs> I love I love these kinds of kinds of dungeons though. Especially with the uh the grid pattern that spiders brought back a lot of good memories. Creeper mazes with sand and TNT. Oh, just just good good stuff. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Next episode, we should be uh, back on track to return to the um, the dungeons and collecting the main objectives. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.